This is called power. What does it mean to stand in your power? It means to stand strong and no longer cower. To the fears and the worries that run through my head, I no longer around others have to softly tread in case I upset them or invoke their reaction. It's about believing I'm safe to allow my ideas to gain traction. My ideas, yes, mine, not yours or theirs. It's about believing in me and saying, who cares what anyone else thinks? Not hearing their doubts. It's allowing myself the space to figure it out. Seeking approval from parents, teachers and friends would lead me to let go of my dreams. They'd just end. I'd feel that wall of negativity, that crushing blow as I asked them their thoughts and they said no. But why was I asking? Why did it matter? Why were their opinions so much fatter and bigger and better and more important than mine? Why did I let their worries and projections dull my shine? Well, I guess, though it's weird to admit it now, I was scared of my dreams when I didn't know how to achieve them, to plan them, to make them all real. So I let others' fears take over the deal. I allowed them to stop me, to put my ideas on hold. I let my bubbling pan of excitement turn really cold. Giving my power away to others felt like a fair payoff, so I didn't have to be vulnerable and listen to them scoff. I think I somehow thought other people knew more than me and that by following their way, perhaps I'd be free. But no, for so long I felt restricted and shackled. I really believed that my dreams just couldn't be tackled. I doubted myself so often, never seeing my worth, never realising how deserving I am of my place here on earth. I guess I fell into the hierarchical trap of believing some lives were worth more than others. Wow, what a slap in the face of humanity that is right there. I'd been conditioned to play victim and cry, it's not fair. Sometimes we get scared when we hear the word power. We see it as something bad, where people abuse it, have control over others, and ultimately it makes people sad. For me, what came next? was to take back responsibility, to realize that I have the power to create what I want to see. And if something's not working out for me, then rather than blame, I've started to see the whole thing as a game. Like, oh, interesting that spanner should appear right now. On the surface, it seems a curveball, but I wonder how it will actually present as something perfect on this path. Like the shower is broken, so I'll have to relax in the bath. Or that new job said no, but instead of crying, I know a better one's on its way, so I just keep on trying. The power is within me to make this life ace. As long as I take the opportunities appearing all over the place, as long as I'm open and willing to look with fresh eyes, there will always be moments of delightful surprise. As long as I see that it is in my power to choose, whether to see each challenge as something to win or to lose, and the only way to lose is by feeling hard done by. To win, I just see it as a lesson to help my wings fly. Standing in my power, standing in my truth, being brave, believing in me, and then celebrating, raising the roof. I am enough. I am lovable even when I get things wrong. And my needs are just as important as others and by meeting them, I feel strong. True power to me is oh so freeing. It's about believing that life is what I make it. And I might as well go after what I really do want. There's no point trying to fake it and live for a dream that isn't my own or one that's been tarnished by fears. I allow myself to believe in my own abilities and follow through on my ideas. The power in each moment lies within our thoughts and repeated, they turn to beliefs. So to be truly powerful, I check in with my mind and I allow myself plenty of relief. We're all of us powerful, all of us here. So remember that often and let go of the fear. Let go of the bars you've allowed to be built. Let your love and creativity pour out to be spilt from the most powerful bit of you, the loving part. Your power comes from your glowing and open heart.
Thank you.